guys, I'm doing a video for my um, affordably challenged friends of my channel. And uh, I know there's a lot of people that are trying to figure out how to get some solar, get some power, get some parts, get some refrigeration. Uh, and we're going to show a video on this one. Um, I got a bigger version of that one. And so far, it's doing really good. Um, I'm going to open it up, let you guys see inside of it. So look for the next video, uh, wherever. Subscribe, and then you'll see it. Get a, Put the notification thing or whatever, that check crap. I don't know what they do uh, of YouTube, but it, I'm just going to show you this. Now, most people can afford something as simple as a $10 charge controller. Look below the video. I'll put a link to these. They're really cheap, really durable. But you get them at AliExpress. A little controller that'll do everything you're needing it to do without a lot of hassles. And it has USBs where you can charge phones and tablets and everything else, even your computer. Um, what I've got here is I've got just a simple, cheap, 5-amp wall wart transformer, but it's regulated. So you'll look on these, and you see right there. You know, focus on it says 12 volt 5 amp i never believe that these are 12 volt they'll say 12 volt but they'll put out like 13 15 test them first and you need one that'll put out at least 14 volts and this one puts out about 14.4 so it's perfect kind of mimics a solar panel um it is uh let's see here make sure my plug's right on that um it is currently doing a job of sending power in to this solar charge controllers now so my battery's at 12 3 and i'll plug it back in there we go all right so it's an incoming voltage the battery's been running a while it's 14.2 right now okay and light switches and all that jazz so let's get back over here on what it's got so the little arrow says power coming in and my battery's currently at 12.5 and the reason it's at 12.5 is because i was charging a whole bunch of stuff off of these things earlier big blood lights and stuff and i drained it down and that's when i come up with the idea you know how to share this um this is just a cheap 27 dollars lawnmower battery from uh, walmart and you guys go get you these because this plate is 12 thousandths thicker than the same plate of an automotive battery. But of course, a deep cycle is about 21 thousandths thicker uh, than an automotive battery. So this is kind of like, it's not a deep cycle, but you know, you leave your lawnmower sitting and they do have the ability to cycle deeper. And if you ran this on all the time, charge kept it charged all the time, it would last a lot longer than a regular car battery. Not as long as a deep cycle. But for 25 to 30 bucks a piece, 35 amp hour battery, and it's SLA, you see, sealed lead, sealed lead acid, they work great. So if you're on a budget, this, this, the whole video here is about my guys are on a budget. I know a lot of you are. You struggle to, to get a little wind turbine. You struggle to get a couple of solar panels. I get it. And I'm like, all right, here's how you do it. Before they run out of these, because they're becoming a huge shortage, go get your five, four, whatever. If you got a 2001 inverter, or if you buy one of these 1500 watt ones here over here, if you buy one of these good inverters here, um, look it up there. I'll put a link to that video. It might take me a while to upload that link on it. But if you get one of these, well, you're going to need at least six of these. So what is that? 150 bucks, $160. And you got six of these. And as long as you keep a charge coming in, they will last quite a while and they'll take a hit. So right now, we're putting out 3.97 amps into this refrigerator unit, 49 watts. Now, here's the funny part. This is really good unit. This is a Dan Foss copy compressor, and it's a good copy. I've taken a look at it. So this company here says 80 watts. No, I haven't been able to get this thing to pull, but 60 at the max, and that's on startup. And you'll look over here and watch. So it's pulling 4.57 amp peak, 59.5 watt peak. It's not pulling no 80 watts. But I have a more efficient outcome with this than I do using their provided power thing. Because this thing burns 140 watts. Just whether it's pulling power into this or not, it burns 140 watts. 
but this only burns about 60 watts and it doesn't send power unless the battery's calling for it which is most of the time but it's half as much so i can take five amps and feed it to a battery to run a freezer that peaks at five amps and yeah that would be normally stressful for something like that however your battery is like a big shock absorber taking it from the battery to that so that runs 14 to 20 minutes and off for the rest of the hour and the rest of the time is this thing just trickle charging into that battery power goes out utility company says screw you we're done with you you're over with boom power stops of course my voltage drops because they didn't let it charge up after pulling you know what four amps out of those things um but it continues to run see look at it's still pulling 3.96 amps still holding 12.29 volts just now dropped 12.28 so i mean this little this one battery could run that thing right there if it's fully charged for about 12 hours okay that's pretty damn good now in my case i would probably have three of these batteries because i have two of these freezers this one here peaks out at about 2.9 you know consistent running with a startup of about 3.6 and this one here hits about a five amp start between the two of them three of those batteries and probably would need but just one of these to keep it supplied and later when i have my money you see i pick up a couple of these so you get a couple of these it's a hundred buck or what a uh, hundred and 85 dollars or something like that i'll put a link to these these are energies they're actually really good um look below the video for links to some of the stuff i'm using now over here i'd get me one of these hook it to this give me a 20 amp version hook it to that put me like three of these batteries in give me a meter one you know don't screw up and guess what as much food as would fit in these two freezers is the value you pay for them freezers now that's 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 something to think about because next month that food is now worth more than the freezers and two months from now it might be worth even more than that and by 2023 well hell you might be able to sell all the food and buy you 10 of them freezers but if but if your refrigeration system quits because you have no way of stopping the power company and we're going to have rolling brownouts we're going to have rolling power outages in, the, in this country our own government's admitting it because they're shutting down all the power plants because it's not politically correct to have one. Yeah, we got some real winners, huh? So not having this means that if you've got $500 worth of food in here, if you have, let's put it this way, if you have a couple of whole turkeys and you might have a couple of big roast, you see that in there, a couple of big pork roast, well, that's 50 bucks, 60 bucks just sitting there. Those two items almost. Uh, I think it roast was $31. But the uh, whole turkey was like 19, that's 50 bucks. Uh, that's, that's, hell, that's a big chunk of the money. So, and then you go hungry too. That, that part sucks even worse. It's like, well, you know, my freezer quit, but you didn't eat. This is a scenario that my poorest folks out there can use to not starve. And that is probably the best outcome. So you're looking at Goodwill, garage sale, eBay. If I find it, what I'll do is I'll, I'll go online, look below the video, and I'll just put this power supply, 5 and 10 or something, you go like, wait a minute, man, wait a minute. I got one of these. I got one of these here battery chargers. Don't worry about me. I know it pulls 365 watts, but don't worry. I'll put it on the maintenance charge. Yeah, but that's only one amp. Yeah, but I'll put it on. Oh, and if you put it on this charge, when it hits 100%, it, all of them now, all of them, all of them got that certificate of green energy crap, right? Even your, and if you got an old one, it'll boil that battery. So you got a choice. Goes off. The other one stays running. Or this. And you can't run that battery charger through this. It is not a load. That's the load. It's that battery charger don't act like a solar panel. 
a regulated power supply like that does. So don't do that. When it gets that battery to 100%, it goes, the sign says 100% and just shuts the hell off. You got to come back out here, hit all the freaking buttons to make it kick on again. If you don't mind doing that, then, you know, do it that way. But this, 10 bucks, 5, 10 bucks, $30 a piece maybe with tax. Depends on where you're at. If you're in New York, I think it's like a thousand bucks. But that's cheap, man. And one of these little watt meters, so you can keep an eye on your stuff and maybe know that that's pulling 3.87. And now I hook the other one up and it's pulling another four. And uh oh, I'm going to get another battery. Yeah, that's how you do it. And when you can afford to get you two, four, six of these, get you a few more controllers and start diversifying. Until then, this is an easy way of effectively charging this up. And you can go buy you, here, let me show you this, one of these big, nice 25-foot cables right here. It's heavy. This is actually uh, pretty heavy for a cable like this. It is 12-gauge. And you can park your car near the house and plug that sucker in and charge the battery bank up itself if you have to, you know, for a few minutes, you know, before gas hits 40 bucks a gallon. And trust me, they got plans for that. You know, be ready. $40 a gallon gasoline means, huh? Order you some extra one of them. But trying to help my guys out, trying to help you guys out, look for that video. Otherwise, that looks pretty simple, don't it? That's not complicated. That power supply, regular, this gets, this only brings the battery up to the maximum potential and shuts it off so it's not drawing. And as you can see, that refrigerator don't draw what they claim it draws. It's actually way more efficient. And that is that big set power right there. I wouldn't use their power supply because it only puts out, what, 13.2 volts on this unit. And it only puts out about 12.6 on this one. So I wouldn't use their power supply. But you can got lots of options for regulated power supplies. You don't want one that says that, and you don't want one that says that. It's unregulated. You want one that's got the little DC and dashes like that. All right, guys, y'all be good. Any questions like, what else can I do with it? Just ask. I usually, I don't know, y'all might notice I answer quite a few people. All right.